so before we jump in, quick trigger warning. Uh, the following movie deals with heavy subject matter surrounding sexual assault, so if that triggers you in any way, don't watch this. So I actually filmed a joint video talking about this with Felicia a couple months ago, but I was so in a bad mental place that I was just unhappy with the result my part of it specifically, and so I just deleted the entire video. But I still want to talk about this movie because it retroactively became my favorite film of 2020, so here we go. I need to lie down. What are you doing? It's okay, hey, you're safe. What are you doing? Hey, I said, what are you doing? Promising Young Woman is the directorial debut of Emerald Fennell, and wow, is it impressive. It stars Carrie Mulligan as Cassie, a young woman who dropped out of med school after a tragedy involving her best friend. And Cassie's made a habit of going out on weekends and pretending to be drunk and having supposed nice guys take her home and then making things very uncomfortable for them when they inevitably try to take advantage of her. And as the film goes on, we learn more and more about Cassie's struggle and why she's doing the things that she does, as well as the impact that it's having on her and the people around her. Promising Young Woman hooked me right from its first trailer. I love Carrie Mulligan. I loved the style and aesthetic that this trailer was putting forward. Bright, vibrant colors, a poppy soundtrack, and what seemed to be an empowering flick pointed at tackling rape culture as a whole. What's not to love? How old am I? What are my hobbies? What's my name? Sorry, maybe that one's too hard. What I didn't expect from Promising Young Woman is to have it leave me completely speechless and convinced that it was the best film of 2020. I'm not joking here, this film blew me the hell away. It takes what is ultimately a tired subgenre, to me at least, rape revenge films, and turns the tropes and the expectations of those films on their head in a way that is disturbing and gratifying and heartbreaking and thought-provoking all at once. This is a film that is sort of impossible to talk about without some sort of spoilers, but I promise you I will leave the most shocking elements of the film out of it. Promising Young Woman kicks off with Cassie, who has already made a habit of her weekend creep fishing at bars, doing exactly that. And through the following few minutes, we're able to pick up so many things about her just from Carrie Mulligan's mannerisms, from the way she carries herself. We know that this isn't the first time she's done this, clearly. She's got a notebook of tally marks and the names of different men all written in different color ink. And over the span of the film, we learn details about her life and why she's doing this, and all of the pieces start to fit together in a way that is really tragic. Sometime before the events of the film, Cassie's best friend Nina was sexually assaulted at a party while drunk and Cassie wasn't there. And it becomes more and more clear that Nina is no longer in the picture and while it's never outright said, it is implied that she committed suicide as a result of all the shaming and mockery and sweeping of her accusations under the rug. And that right there is the driving force of this film, especially once Cassie finds out that Nina's abuser is coming back to town and getting married. Now normally in a rape revenge film, A, Nina would be the protagonist, and B, this would be the point where she goes all Rambo slash John Wick to cut their dicks off or something and teach them a lesson. But Promising Young Woman tackles this in a completely different way, and Emerald Fennell clearly stated that she didn't want that to be the case. She wanted Cassie's revenge tactics to be more psychological than physical. And we get to see her plan unfold and the people she targets and how they connect to what happened to Nina. And we watch as Cassie systematically unravels them through psychological manipulation to force them to ultimately realize the error of their ways, but in a way that is really, really, really intense. And that's why Promising Young Woman is different, because it's not really a rape revenge film. It's just a revenge film, in that it's a film about revenge. Cassie's taken it on herself to act in Nina's stead and make her victimizers face punishment, but throughout the entire film, it's explicitly clear that Cassie is not the hero here. What she's doing is really fucked up from an ethical perspective, but also, it's clearly destroying her. The further into this avenging angel persona that she sinks, the more of herself she loses. And the more hollow she becomes to everyone around her who is just watching in horror, wondering what's going on. It's heartbreaking to watch because you completely understand why she's doing the things that she's doing. And hanging on to all that anger and that pain, while justified, is clearly killing her and setting her down a path that she can't return from. 
And that's the core nugget of truth in this movie. It's not a rape revenge film because revenge isn't the point. It's a film that showcases how one traumatic act, something that everyone in the film who remembers it writes off as, oh, we were just kids or, oh, we were drunk, can irreparably shatter countless lives. It starts at one person, but it spiderwebs outward and you're seeing all these different people who were affected by that one act. The point of most rape revenge films ultimately is to offer catharsis in some way to viewers who want to see victimizers get brutalized on screen, which like, fair, we all want that. But the way a lot of them go about it feels very similar to being like, yeah, this awful thing happened to her, but look how strong it made her. Ew. But this movie understands that there's no real catharsis that can come from seeking retribution for that kind of act, just more pain. And while justice is important to be served, going down a vigilante-esque revenge path to absolve yourself of pain and guilt is not the way to do it. This movie explores really dark subject matter in a way that isn't gratuitous or exploitative. In fact, it's kind of the opposite. Promising Young Woman is a bleak-as-fuck movie wrapped in a sugar-pop rom-com. The colors are so vibrant. The movie kicks off with a remix of Charlie XCX's Boys, and then goes on to contain songs like Stars Are Blind by Paris Hilton, before circling back to an incredible violin cover of Toxic by Britney Spears. Mulligan's chemistry with Bo Burnham is genuinely charming, and you want to see the two of them work out because they're just electric at together every time they're on screen. And it's a movie that is basically candy-coated in its aesthetic to hide the rot at its center, and I think that is amazing. To say anything else about this movie would be risking spoilers, and I wouldn't dare do that to you because this is a movie you just have to kind of witness and be shocked and mortified by. So instead, I'm just gonna make the strongest recommendation possible that you do watch this movie and you watch it immediately. Really try everything you can to not spoil the ending of this film. For those of you concerned, uh, as far as the, the act in question that is the catalyst for the entire film, this movie is not gratuitous. It does not show anything. You do not have to worry about any visuals. There is some audio at one point, but it is not gratuitous at all. It's a movie that manages to be fun and enjoyable in spite of its dark subject matter, while still taking that subject matter incredibly seriously. And somehow Fennell managed to craft a film that juggles those two tones perfectly without ever feeling particularly unbalanced at all. It says a lot for her directing talent and to the talents of everyone involved. Promising Young Woman is a movie that is gonna stick with you one way or another, regardless of how you feel about it. It might make you sick, it might leave a bad taste in your mouth, you might have a good time with it, I don't know. But if you understand what it's going for right from the jump, I think you will have an amazing time with this film. And I wanna hear your opinions on it. Please leave them below, I'm very, very curious. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this channel and wanna see more, click down there, like, comment, subscribe. You could be like any of these cool people right here and check out my Patreon, the link is in the description as well. Even if you don't though, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all very soon. I might want to get back into it.